The unexpected happened, and now Chevy is the only NASCAR team that doesn't have a brand new car for 2024. They'll have a hard time. With Ford and Toyota releasing game-changing vehicles, will Chevy teams be forced to play catch-up? What does this reveal for their chances of winning? Join us as we reveal the unexpected twist, revealing the uphill battle Chevy teams are preparing for this season. Don't miss out on the inside scoop. Subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more whereabouts on NASCAR. As the curtains fell on the 2023 NASCAR Cup season, all eyes shifted eagerly to what 2024 had in store. Ford wasted no time in stealing the spotlight, unveiling their shiny new ace, the Dark Horse Mustang. Toyota, not to be outdone, decided to jump into the fray with its own contender, the Camry XSE. Both manufacturers were quick to hit the Phoenix Raceway, putting their new rides through the paces ahead of the upcoming Cup season. But hold on a minute, where's Chevrolet in all of this? As the third heavyweight in the Cup arena, they've been surprisingly quiet on the car front for 2024. While Ford and Toyota are revving up with newer, faster models, Chevrolet seems to be stuck in a bit of a time warp. The plot thickens when you realize that the final sixth-generation Camaro is scheduled to make its last appearance in January 2024. After that, it's anyone's guess what Chevy's future holds. With Ford and Toyota showcasing their fresh rides, it begs the question, will all the Chevrolet-run teams be left playing catch-up with the older model? The competition is heating up, and it looks like Chevy might need to step on the gas to keep up with the fast-paced changes in the NASCAR world. The postseason test at Phoenix Raceway brought the NASCAR Cup Series teams together for a two-day session, featuring six drivers in action. The focus of the test included various aerodynamic configurations and Goodyear tire combinations. Notably, the Ford and Toyota teams took the opportunity to put their spanking new cars through their paces, gearing up for the upcoming season. Given the numerous driver complaints about racing on short tracks, there was a particular emphasis on fine-tuning performance in such conditions. While the results of the tests are still under wraps, it's expected that all the details will be revealed in the coming weeks, providing insights into how the teams are shaping up for the 2024 season. Intriguingly, some aerodynamic changes were introduced during the test, featuring a new splitter design and a diffuser with two aluminum rakes. The goal here was to mitigate the impact of turbulent air on vehicles and traffic. The good news is that these changes received a thumbs up from the drivers, with newly crowned NASCAR Cup Series champion Ryan Blaney among the vocal supporters of the move. With the current generation Camaro bidding adieu in January 2024, all eight full-time teams and six part-time teams find themselves in a bit of a pickle. Global Chevrolet Vice President Scott Bell expressed gratitude for the Camaro's journey, hinting at an uncertain future. Despite a strong start to the season, with Chevrolet sweeping the first four races and notching up 20 wins overall in 2023, the title slipped away, landing in the hands of Ryan Blaney and the Team Penske Ford. Hendrick Motorsports, Chevrolet's top team, faced challenges, with only Kyle Larson and William Byron making substantial contributions. As Chevrolet gears up for 2024 with the sixth-generation Camaro, the looming question is what lies ahead for 2025 and beyond? The Camaro story might be taking a pause, but the future chapters remain unwritten. Talking about Toyota, it's stepping into the NASCAR Cup Series with a bang, unveiling its 2024 contender, the Toyota Camry XSE race car. This high-performance racer will make its debut in the preseason clash at the Coliseum in early February, showcasing the manufacturer's sportiest offerings to the public. Built on the foundation of the Toyota Camry TRD Next Gen, the new Camry XSE aims to continue the success story, having secured 18 NASCAR Cup Series wins and 25 pole positions over the past two seasons. Developed in collaboration between Toyota Racing Development, or TRD, based in Southern California and North Carolina, and Culti Design, the race car mirrors the styling of the recently revealed 2025 Toyota Camry XSE while adhering to NASCAR's 2024 rules. The Camry XSE race car boasts distinctive hammerhead styling in the front fascia, featuring an upper grille slot seamlessly integrated with slim and wide headlights, akin to the 2025 road car. Notable features include C-shaped corner vents, updated character lines on the hood, and revised quarter panel styling at the back. The overall design aims to give the Camry race car a sculpted appearance and aligns closely with the attention to detail seen in the street version Toyota Camry. Toyota is the only NASCAR manufacturer with three distinct nameplates across the three national touring series. Camry in the Cup Series, the GR Supra in the Xfinity Series, and the Tundra TRD Pro Truck in the Craftsman Truck Series. Since entering NASCAR competition in 2004, 
Toyota has accumulated numerous victories and championships across all three series. David Wilson, president of TRD, emphasized Toyota's commitment to continuous improvement and expressed eagerness to work closely with race team partners to optimize the performance of the newly designed Camry race car for the upcoming 2024 season. Toyota has expanded its team entries with Legacy Motor Club, bringing the total number of Camry XSEs competing in the NASCAR Cup Series to eight for each race. The manufacturer aims to add another Cup Series championship to its impressive track record with the Camry nameplate while Ford unleashed the 2024 edition of the Ford Mustang, and it goes by the badass name, Dark Horse. Hold on to your seats because this mean machine is set to make its grand NASCAR Cup Series debut next season. Yeah, you heard it right. The seventh generation of this iconic muscle car is gearing up to hit the tracks for various racing series. Ford Performance Motorsports Global Director Mark Rushbrook spilled the beans to NBC Sports. According to him, giving the Cup car a 7th gen makeover was a no-brainer. The only head-scratcher? Choosing between a Mustang GT or a Mustang Dark Horse. Well, guess what they went for? They decided to deck it out in the sleek style of the Mustang Dark Horse. Heavy hitters like Team Penske, Stuart Haas Racing, RFK Racing, Front Row Motorsports, Rick Ware Racing, and Wood Brothers Racing are all in on the action. A whopping 14 cars collectively from these six teams will be tearing up the track in the Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Now, here's the burning question on every NASCAR and Ford enthusiast's mind. Is the new Ford Mustang Dark Horse going to outpace the Chevy and Toyota rivals? It's like the ultimate showdown in the racing world, right? Ford, Chevrolet, and Toyota all vying for that sweet victory. Considering Ford's got skin in the game with the joint highest number of teams and cars tearing up the track, it's going to be a prideful battle, especially against Chevrolet. But let's not forget the curveball. Toyota has been flexing some serious speed muscles this year. Now, the real plot twist comes with the next-gen cars. Everyone's still figuring out how to squeeze every ounce of performance from these beasts. And that brings us to the big question. How is the Mustang Dark Horse going to handle the heat? That's a concern that Ford might have to go back to the drawing board in terms of development. And then there's the nerve-wracking question of whether the Mustang Dark Horse will play nice with NASCAR's technical rulebook. Flashback to 2022, and Ford faced a tough time with those next-gen cars, dealing with a bunch of technical penalties. RFK Racing felt the brunt of it, and Ford teams sometimes found themselves playing catch-up in the speed department. Now, with the new kid on the block, the worry is whether all the progress they've made will hit the rewind button. Fingers crossed that the Mustang Dark Horse can live up to the hype and keep the Ford flag flying high. The 2024 Mustang is packing a punch with a 5-liter TI VCT V8 engine churning out a whopping 500 horsepower and 418 pounds of torque. And that's not all. It's got some mean 19-inch wheels, a Brembo brake system, and a 6-speed manual transmission with rev matching for that extra adrenaline kick. The front wheels are 19 by 9.5 inches, and the rear wheels are 19 by 10 inches. These bad boys are not just any wheels. They're tarnished, dark painted, and crafted from low gloss aluminum. But here's the kicker. Ford might need to tweak things to play by the rules. Word on the street is that they made a major facelift to the Mustang for NASCAR, taking inspiration from Chevrolet. Picture this. A lower top on the front bumper, a protruding middle, raised edges on the fender, and a sleek dip towards the hood. Ford's breaking new ground here, unlike Chevy and Toyota with their current rides. As for Ford, the big question is, can the Mustang Dark Horse outpace the competition? The stats look killer, but the real test is out there on the track. Ford's likely itching to see how it holds up in testing for 2024 after the 2023 Cup Series season finale crowns a champ. Of course, Ford doesn't want a repeat of past hiccups with regulations, so they've likely dotted their I's and crossed their T's. But the real deal, how the Mustang stacks up speed-wise against the Camaro and Camry, that's the million-dollar mystery. All eyes are on the test sessions, where the truth will unfold and teams and drivers will need some quality time to get cozy with this fresh set of wheels. After all, two years of bonding with the current next-gen car deserves a worthy sequel. Currently in the NASCAR scene, Chevy teams are rocking the Camaro ZL1 in the Cup Series, while the Xfinity Series is repping the regular Camaro. The NASCAR-ready Camaros don't share parts with the ones you'd find at your local dealership. NASCAR rules say you gotta race with a car in production when you first sign up, so Chevy could technically keep racing with the Camaro, even after its production run. Weird? Yes. Legal? Absolutely. But if they want to keep it fresh, the Chevy Malibu is a solid contender, this sleek four-door sedan making waves in the next-gen NASCAR lineup. Not a bad look, right? 
Toyota's been doing something similar with the Camry and the Cup series, and the Malibu could follow suit. On the streets, the Camry and Malibu go head-to-head, -head, though the Camry outsells the Malibu by a mile. Here's the plot twist, though. Sedans aren't exactly the cool kids on the block these days. Chevy's practically waving goodbye to sedans, with only the Malibu and GM offering just a couple more in the whole lineup. Rumor has it that crossovers might be the next big thing in NASCAR, with whispers of a Blazer EV making the rounds. Now that could be a game changer. This battery electric vehicle tearing up the track in what could be the EV support series, as leaked last year. The folks at NASCAR are shaking things up, hinting that they're eyeing a future with fewer gas guzzlers and more electric speed demons. The next-gen race car, strutting its stuff since the 2022 season, was actually designed with electrification in mind. Now, if we were to throw in our two cents, we'd bet on Chevy keeping the Camaro in the Cup Series for as long as it can, delivering that classic muscle car roar. The Blazer EVSS, a sleek electric crossover, making waves in a brand new NASCAR EV Series. It's a bold move that might just change the game. Meanwhile, as Toyota unveils its cutting-edge 2024 Camry XSE for the NASCAR Cup Series, Chevrolet faces a unique challenge. The innovative design changes and aerodynamic enhancements seen in Toyota's latest entry provide a competitive edge. Unfortunately for Chevrolet, as they bid farewell to the sixth-generation Camaro, they lack these transformative updates, potentially placing all eight full-time teams and six part-time teams at a disadvantage. So that's all we've got for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the upcoming video.